bike today. It's a lovely day down in the south of England and I couldn't get to my favourite part which is the Peak District because it's raining and cloudy. So I thought I'll do a walk around um, Buckinghamshire and somebody told me about this walk which is uh, it's a circular walk and it takes you through Stowe Gardens which is a, a very beautiful garden which we'll see in a bit but we start this walk off in a place called Chackmoor which is over there and there's a lovely little car park that you can park you see my Bilingo and uh, we need to walk down there to a pub right I walked through Chackmoor village and the pubs on the left and it said on the map look for speed restrictions so I'm guessing it's that and then up ahead you've got a green signpost that says public footpath but it's on the right and on the map direction it says head left but I can't <laughs> so um, I'm just going to follow the, the green sign that says public footpath which leads into this field here so off I go so basically you've got to walk through there underneath I'm walking through fields of barley aren't they lovely <laughs> um, it's actually quite a nice little path it's not as remote as I like my walks to be there's still too many people and cars about but uh, I couldn't drive up to the Peak District because it's um, the weather's not so good up there so I remain south and thought I'll do this walk which has turned out not to be too bad so far I haven't seen anyone <laughs> which is a good sign <laughs> as I'm walking through the fields of wheat or barley I've noticed that the green shades of these plants are pretty amazing it's a, a bluey green color I don't know if my camera can pick it up but it's just a vibrant green a vibrant bluey green and it's just so beautiful so, <coughs> I've walked down that path over there and I've come to um, an oak tree that I need to look for a spell so I'm just gonna go there I really need to get a map I hate having to look down on my phone all the time to get the direction so I really need to get myself some ordnance maps and learn how to use a compass, that's my next goal. And we've come across something like that, and you can see an arrow, woohoo. And this is great so far. Uh, right, on my instructions, it said a style and a fork. Well, there's no style, and there is no fork or path. So it's just one path and a gate. <sighs> <laughs> I just shit at reading instructions. Oh, the directions are completely wrong. Um, but there is a public footpath that goes that way, so I'm just going to do it and see where it goes. I've actually decided I've gone completely the wrong way. Uh, I've looked at the map. I'm heading south when I should be heading north. And I've come across the bridal way. It's completely wrong. Uh, I'm going to walk, retrace my uh, steps. I only think I made a mistake by about 20 minutes. So I'm going to walk straight down that and try to hit the right road. <laughs> I'm a daft bird. The original public footpath sign was there. And if I had just looked opposite, it would have been that one. And that's the correct one to take. I just need to just look at the map, not read actual instructions. So that is the path I've got to take. <laughs> There's that bloody... As I'm walking, I'm looking for significant bits to take photographs of because I like taking pictures of beautiful things and I'm struggling. All I'm getting is dried out weed or rhubarb, uh, a field. <laughs> It is beautiful, don't get me wrong, but it's not what, for me, I like open scenery, the mountains, not fields. <laughs> but I'm hoping we are going to come across some castles in a bit. So I'm going to continue this walk, listen to my music, because uh, that's about the only thing that's keeping me going at the moment, to be honest with you. <laughs> I've actually got two little friends with me. They're 
two little butterflies that followed me all past. Where they gone? They were flying. They were flying all around me. <laughs> that was just so sweet. After I had a little moan about how uninspiring this walk is, um, two butterflies kept me company for a while. It's <laughs> a sign. I've completely gone off route. But I can see some nice buildings, so I'm just going to aim for that basically. I'm not, I can't be asked to follow a map, it's just no good at it. Um, so, all these yellow signs, I'm just following them and see where I end up. It's, uh, it's quite a open spot, and you can see right in the far distance. I've just been thinking about the whole map reading incident. I have a really good internal compass. I know where the car is, it's in that direction. So I'm just going to follow my internal gut instinct rather than read a map. I think I'm safer to do that um, because I have got a natural uh, sense of north, south, east and west. Well, I did have. <laughs> I'm walking through the fields of long grass and I've got my little dragonfly friends following me and the butterflies and I can't tell you how wonderful this experience is that I'm getting. Okay, I've come through the fields for my dragonflies and my butterflies and I've come to this sort of sheltered area uh, and Stowe Gardens is over there but it's all fenced off. Uh, but it's lovely and cool over here. I actually might just sit down for a bit. A little sheep. Sit down on these trees over here. Add some water. It's not actually a very hot day, thank God. Because over the last week we've had temperatures of about uh, 30 centigrade. So today is about 18. So it's perfect. The sun's out when it was. Uh, so it's the perfect time to walk. I couldn't do it if it was about 25 plus, there's no way. I will probably wait until evening time. But yeah, I'm going to have a, a swig of water and then continue with this walk. I don't know where exactly it's going to end up. Uh, <laughs> my friends are probably going to be laughing, the ones who told me about this path go, what, she just can't read a map. <laughs> I can, I swear I can. <laughs> One of the reasons why I did this walk was because in the background you can see Stowe Castle. Uh, it's there in the background. So this is a path that um, will go through fairly quite a few historical buildings. Let's just hope, fingers crossed, I come across them. Oh yeah, there is my first little historical building. That's the Gothic Temple in Stowe Gardens. So it was worth the walk. See, it was worth it. There's the Gothic temple up ahead. And that was built in the 18th century. So I'm going to walk up closer to it. It's actually a very beautiful spot. Can you see the little lakey bit up there behind me? Uh, this whole area was a stately home. Somebody's rich person's playground. So you had a gothic temple built, a stow castle over there, and there's lots of other buildings there. Now it's a private run school, uh, so all the rich kids come and learn, lucky them. It's probably the perfect environment for them to actually uh, absorb all the information. But look at that, it's just so beautiful. Look at all these sheep. They're all lying down on the middle of the path, must be too hot for them. Don't look like they've got lots of wool on them. So I'm in Stone Park. I don't know if you can see that, <coughs> that little building over there by the water. I had to get out of the Stone Park and turn it around, even though. It's a beautiful park and people ordinarily pay about £14 to get in there because there's loads of historical Romanesque buildings in there. I felt a bit guilty walking around because I just went in there for free by going through this gate. So I walked back to the gate and I thought, no, I'm going to be decent and walk the unpaid route 
but also I don't want to be around so many people. There's loads of tourists in there and I just wanted to go out and get some peace and not meet anyone. So yeah, I'm doing a runner. This is what I like. Open stretches, nobody about. <laughs> uh, and you've got the odd building up in the horizon. And poppies! Those are poppies. Aren't they beautiful? The red, it just zings out amongst the green. It's great. I like this kind of walking where there's no one around. Does that make me a bit weird? Mm, no, not really. <laughs> what a lovely path. It's been freshly mowed down and cut. Leads to far over there. And if I turn round, you can see the castle up behind me. So this is the Buckinghamshire landscape. It's quite pretty. Typical me. That's the path I should take. Then I noticed some other signs up that way. So I'm going to go and have a look over there. Why not, eh? And you can see the building there. It has got some interesting landmarks around here. But uh, I always want to go off the off-beaten route. It's always the more interesting one. And the one that I'm not going to see a lot of people. And people on bikes, because that's what they seem to be doing around here. Just going on bikes. And you can see, look, that's where I'm heading to. That long spiky building up there. I don't know if you can notice the skyline, the clouds that just hanging above the trees. It just looks so beautiful. I'm in a fort and a posh area. This Range Rover is driving about everywhere. And yeah, little monuments like that. And nice long roads. I think the next time I come here I'll bring my son and our bikes. And we can just go up and down these roads. What a lovely bridge I've come across. And then you've got the quintessential swans. I thought I was reaching my car, which I am. I know it's that direction. And I found the lake and the swans and this lovely bridge. Let me just turn around. I'm just right on the edge there. But I've seen another path that heads in the woods. Now I'm going to take that. Guess what? I'm lost. <laughs> so I'm walking on ordinary roads with traffic coming by, having to move over to the side. So I'm walking on the uh, aspect where the cars are approaching. But I know I'm heading in the right direction, even though it's a boring route. Uh, I just can't get my head around map reading. With the walking routes, I'm all right with the road maps. It's the walking routes. And GPS is not working very well for me either. Got, got back to my Berlingo. <laughs> back to what's it called? Where's the signpost? Can you see it? Chackmore. I think I must have add, added another three miles to the actual circular route because I just can't read a map. I need to get over this problem. 